Hey there, Slim J here with a tactical intervention on my Ruger 1022 stainless rifle. I've had it for almost two years. Here, uh, first time at the range back in 2008. Just had a cheap weaver scope laying around the house, put it on there. That wasn't working. There's my wife shooting it. There's my daughter shooting it. And you can see the stock just wasn't quite working for her. So I went and initially got the Interfuse rifle system to take it from the synthetic stock you see here into something a little meaner, like that. Plus it can adjust to my daughter, to my wife, to me. I actually still have the cover on the bottom rail here, but I knew I was going to expand there with the scope on there. I just moved it to the top and adjusted it to fit and look right. My mom shoots it. She has her own now nice gray and purple stock. Dad shoots. My niece shoots. Back to my wife shooting this particular one and she does love that by far. Ended up going to just a uh, Bushnell Rimfire 22 scope. It was silver, kind of matched the gun. I liked it. It works. This is actually from another video I have here on YouTube when I was plinking last summer. That's a full video, not that it was overly long. Just a fun gun to shoot. My daughter does love that adjustable stock. Fits right into her shoulder there. Get away from a get standing it. position. Got your time standing. That's saying something for as nose heavy as that gets with that bipod on her. You can put the bipod down. Just pick it up and then. I've actually reversed that now so that the bipod folds forward so I could put the vertical grip behind there. Come on. My cousin shoots. I'm watching it pull. And with my daughter shooting it, she was having to use two fingers on the initial trigger, which I think is about five pounds. So I got this Volkortsen hammer pack from Midway USA. It's about 35 bucks. It actually came with the auto bolt release. Put it to about a two and a half pound trigger. You can see my self-made magazine release there. And then I moved the front stud of the stock back to the middle so that I could put a Black Hawk Storm single point sling on there. You did good last time. You want to shoot the bowling pin? Yeah. Okay. Right over there. See it? I, I'm not on the bowling pin. I'm on the grass. Well, okay. Which way do you need to go? Stop. Right there. Hold it on there. Nope, didn't hit it yet. She is using a single index finger now to pull the trigger with that new trigger on there. Walking there. me on to her target. Okay. Oh, you just missed to the right of it. Got a couple more shots. Get that bowling pin. There, you nailed it. You getting chilly? You shot the bowling pin, good girl. You wanna go get in the truck? Another video actually from January 2010, I set up a little run and gun. And then now I've got the vertical grip on there, it's a Tapco, goes right onto that stock. Locks on good, and a little longer than I thought it was going to be, but I guess I can store two CR123 batteries in there. Eventually I'll get a flashlight mounted on here and I think that'll pretty much wrap it up. Possibly a muzzle brake. Not sure about a red dot sight, I don't know that that's really necessary. Not that a muzzle brake is on a 22. But just kind of a walk through. You can see the bottom rail covers now up on the top there. Not going to use that rail so far anyway. Got the magazine release right there. New trigger kit in there. Single point sling. And a stock that will adjust to just about anybody. Definitely a fun rifle to shoot. Not going to modify my gun case so I can fit it in there though. Know your rights. Support that Second Amendment. Shoot safely. Shoot often. Share your sport. And then there's the list of all the mods that I've done so far. Again, maybe a nice flash suppressor and a flashlight, and I think this job will be done. Hope you enjoy the video.